Requisition management is an easy way to automate the requisition process within your organization. In this video, I want to show you how to process a requisition through the system and also integrate it to Dynamics GP to create a purchase order. So let's take a look at it. Requisition management is deployed using Business Portal. So I'm going to open up Business Portal here. And in this demonstration, I'm going to use three different roles. The first role I'm going to use is as a requisition creator. And in my system, I've set up Alicia to do that, Alicia Stevens. So I'm going to log in as Alicia right now. And to access the requisition piece, I'm going to go to the Employee Center and then to Purchase Requests. In this window, I can look at requisitions that I've submitted in the past, requisitions, requisitions I've saved. I can also copy requisitions here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new request. So I hit New Request. I'm going to fill in some information about this request. So this is my requisition. I'm going to add a new item, new line item here. And what I've done for this particular setup is I have limited the number of fields that Alicia can see when she enters a request. So these are the minimally required fields, and I'm going to enter that here. can specify a required date and can also add a column, comment, excuse me. I'm going to add that comment. I'm going to add the line. And if I wanted to, I could add additional lines here. But what I'm going to do is show you the tasks that are available to the requisition creator. I can save it as a draft, go back and add some items to it, edit items. I can also delete it and I can submit it for approval. I have the option too in the system to allow requis requisition creators to specify who they want to approve the purchase requ request or have it locked down like I do here. And all I can do as a cr creator here is select the submit button and then I'm going to hit OK. And that requisition is on its way. Now I want to log in as the requisition approver. So to do that, I've set up another role. I'm going to log in as Phyllis Rago. And to access the requisitions that need to be approved, again, I'm going to go to the Employee Center. I'm going to go to Purchase Requests. And I'm going to see all the requests that are assigned to me and assigned to my roles. So I'm going to select a role here. I'll do this drop down. You can see that Phyllis has a number of business portal roles, but the one I'm interested in is requisition approver. I'm going to select that, click the green arrow, and I'm going to see the requisitions that have been assigned to my role. You can also see there's different people in that role, and I'm going to select this one here. I'm going to edit that request, and we'll see that there are a number of fields that have not been filled in. These fields need to be filled in before the requisition can be turned into a PO. So let's do that now. I'm going to hit Edit Item. I'm going to enter a description for this item. This is a non-inventory item. If I wanted inventory items, I could look to up those as well. I'm going to select a vendor here. I'm also going to select a GL account. I'm going to move this to fixed asset, assets eventually, so I'm going to select the fixed asset clearing account. I also happen to know the price, so I'm going to enter that here as well. And the rest of it looks good to me, so I'm going to save and close that. Now as a requisition approver, I have additional tasks that I can perform. I can save it, work on it later, I can reject it, or I can approve it. I'm going to um, do a final approval on this, which means it goes directly to the purchasing person. The approval is based on my approval limit, and you can see to the right here that my approval limit is unlimited. I also have the ability to assign final approval to the request, so I'm going to do that now. Hit final approval, hit OK, and now it's going to go to the purchasing function. So I'm going to log in as a third role as a purchasing person. Let's do that right now. In my system, I've set up the administrator as the purchasing person. So let me log in.
and I'm going to go to the Purchasing Center, and then to Requisitions. And here I'm going to see all the approved requisitions that are ready to be turned into a PO. I'm going to select the vendor here, hit the green arrow. It's going to show me all the requisition lines that are assigned to this particular vendor. I've got one here. You can see at the bottom that there are a number of options I can consolidate all my requisitions into one PO. I can also add it to an existing PO. I can specify the buyer ID. So I'm going to hit create. And this is going to create a PO in GP. And it's going to finalize this requisition in the requisition management system. You can see that the PO was created. So let's take a look at that PO in GP. In GP, I'm going to go to the purchasing area page. Go to the purchase order entry screen. and Look up that purchase order. And here it is. Let's take a look at the detail. You can see I've got the line item on the PO. If I drill back to the detail, we'll see that the integration to GP from Requisition Management also pulled over the correct GL account here, the description, also the required date, and as well a note about the requisition. You can see the requisitioner there, the requisition number, and the comment entered by the requisition creator. Once it's in the PO, Normal processing for the PO would follow any other PO process that you might have. So this shows the integration from requisition management into Dynamics GP. So requisition management is pretty easy to deploy, it's easy to use, and it's relatively cost effective. So if you've licensed for it, please try it out, deploy it, it's easy to do, I think that you'll like it.